Well, good morning. It's a nippy morning here in Tyler, Texas over at Cousin Mary Kay's place. So, uh, not quite sure what I want to do today. I'm being attacked by her dogs, but anyway. Uh, remember those mats I got at one of those unboxings? Well, I forgot them. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't really prepare for this uh, trip very well. That uh, kayak project kind of ate into my time a little bit. And so uh, I'm gonna try to play it safe. So this morning I'm gonna head on out to uh, uh, Tyler State Park and try my luck over there with some fishing. And then from there I'll figure out where I'm gonna go next. So uh, y'all hang in there and uh, we'll uh, head on out to the park and maybe we'll get lucky. So I made it to the lake, right? And I'm just um, giving a little bit of everything a try here. In a minute, I'll show you what the menu was. But the uh, water was actually pretty clear. I mean, it was a lot of vegetation, but the water was clear. And you'll see a few examples of that a little later. So I was just throwing a, you know, a little stick bait, wacky rig, and a, um, a swim bait. And this is one of those Livingston lures that has all that fancy electronics in it. And this is how clear the water was. You can see that turtle just swimming around. I guess I'm just changing baits here. Looks like there's a couple of kayakers there in the background.
I love that Livingston little wake bait. Makes a nice little V. As you saw, this wake bait actually puts out a, a nice performance out on the water. A nice little V-shaped wake. It's also one of those electronics. Um, has electronics in it. Puts out a, a LED flashing on the tail, and also puts out a sound that's supposed to be mimicking um, wounded or distressed uh, bait fish. So, guys, from looking at the water, you can see there's a lot of lettuce out there. But one thing I did notice. In fact, I caught some right here using a, uh, uh, one of these little shaky head from Z-Man. But there are plenty, if I can zoom in on here, a little brimp. I'm thinking about changing my strategy and just try to do some little pan fishing here. So we'll give that a try. Those little brim, they were all over the place. So I got out my sunfish tackle. I started out with, with a little white grub. And I also threw down a bunch of uh, little bits of uh, balled up bread to help put them in a feeding frenzy. But as you can see, they were just ignoring my grub. Some would peck at it, but I think it was just too big. And I didn't have any small hooks to, uh, you know. Well, so it was a nice little morning fishing at the little lake here at Tyler State Park. Um, the crowd started moving in on the uh, docks or fishing piers. I decided it get a little too crowded. So I'm gonna move around, see what the rest of the park looks like. And then after that, see what other kind of trouble I'm getting myself into. Till then, we'll see you a little later. So I did a little exploring, right? Um, here's the bathhouse for the swimmers. The swimming area is in the back of it. And here's the gift shop. And next to the big gift shop is the uh, boathouse. And here at the boathouse, you can uh, rent all kinds of kayaks and rowboats or whatever. And there's the uh, ramp for bringing in your own boat. As cool as it was that morning, I still needed some ice cream at the gift shop and of course they picked me up a refrigerator magnet. But, but. So I just get a message, text message from my mom. She says, hey, Tyler is well known for some kind of candle shop or a special candle. I have no clue what she's talking about. Let's see if uh, cousin Mary Kay knows what she's talking about. <clears throat> All right, Cousin Mary Kay, where are you on here? There she is. Hello? Hey, it's me, Francis. Um, Hi. I just got a text message from uh, mom. He says that uh, in Tyler, there's some kind of candle shop that's special or a candle that's special. Do you know what she's talking about? Well, uh, there's a Tyler candle company, although it's, it's no longer located in Tyler. Uh, it's in Tyler, Texas. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, they sell a lot of candles. Um, they sell candles in the Tyler area. That's one less trip I got to do. All right, I'll let her know doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see the build, the old building when you go downtown, but really there's nothing to see. Okay, great. All right, well, thanks a lot. You bet. All right, talk to you later. Great. Right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Well, that's one less sunny do I got to take care of. We made it guys, for those who are in Texas, 
You probably guessed it. The Freshwater Fishery Center in Athens, Texas. Here we have a monument dedicated to the game wardens. And here's the entrance. And because it was like the Cinco de Mayo weekend, I actually got in free. And when you walk around the outside, they have some big, huge outdoor aquariums that you can uh, check out. And here is where you can get your fishing pole and lures and catch some fish. They had quite a few indoor displays. And believe me, there is much more. In fact, they have a, a little theater inside there where you can see uh, someone feeding the fish. So I'll be producing a whole separate video on this. So while I was at the uh, fishery, uh, cousin Mary Kay called me up and said she wants to uh, show me around the famous Texas uh, Rose Garden. And uh, so I hurried on back. And it's next to the Civic Center. Now where their Civic Center is, I have no idea. But we made it inside and uh, hit the gift shop. So I'm, so I'm a big uh, refrigerator magnet collector, so I found myself another souvenir. You'll see. They had some kind of museum there. We didn't go in, I, so I couldn't really tell you about it, but we did finally manage to go outdoors and look at some of the roses. And they had one area that was the, they call it the idea garden. So, you know, a homeowner can come here and get some ideas on landscaping tips. And if you're into green, I apologize, folks. I'm not really into gardening. I think I just, did this make Mary Kay happy? I don't know. But uh, here's a little video of the area. I mean, it really was a nice place. So uh, we headed on out for our next adventure. So you heard me talking about petrified wood earlier, right? Folks, it was getting late. And so after uh, visiting the garden, we were uh, both hungry and I had a hankering for Tex-Mex. Remember the, my petrified wood collecting trips? Well, look what we found. A whole house made of uh, petrified wood. But hey, we made it to the famous Mercados of Tyler, Texas. And I knew exactly what I wanted. Mm. Hey guys, that's it for now. So uh, stay tuned for day three. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.